I'm really excited to show you this because sometimes we don't have equipment like Dutch ovens to get things going. So in this instant, you are gonna need a fire bowl. Now, hopefully you can find a fire bowl somewhere in a DIY shop or something like that. But underneath is also a fire blanket. So the wonderful thing about a fire blanket is that you could do this at home, you could do this in a patio, you could do this in a playground. You could really make a fire anywhere and you wouldn't damage what's underneath on the soil or on the grass. Now, there are other variations to do what I would call a leave no trace fire, but this isn't that at the moment. So you can buy a fire blanket and a fire bowl. Now, I've had a fire going for quite a while to get it down to these nice coal-like pieces of wood. And what we're gonna do is we're going to actually make some um, muffins in a tin. Now, I've got a few things over here. So what do I need? I've obviously got my first aid, my water, hair back, hopefully. Thought about wind direction with the smoke this time. Nothing dangling. I've got my fire gloves. I have got a um, cake tin. I've got my muffin mixture, which you'll see in a minute that I did earlier. Some cases and some icing and a new style trivet. I like this one because it's easy to carry around. You can get it out of a bag and it pops open and there you have your trivet. So there's all this lovely equipment that you can get if you can. Not saying you absolutely need it, but some things like this are very useful. So I'm gonna pop that into the center of my fire bowl like that, okay? And should be, should be grand there, okay. 